I want to talk to you about the Great Lakes Seiche. What we're seeing in this video, we are actually seeing a Seiche uh, over a time period of like 10 or 15 minutes. What's a Seiche? Well, it is a process where the water in the lake, uh, it gets pushed either by wind or by atmospheric pressure, pushed one way. So uh, the water is pushed up on one side, down on the other side, and this is across a whole Great Lake. When that wind or pressure changes or drops, then the water starts sloshing back and forth just like that. Like right here in this video, you're seeing a time lapse of a seiche in progress. And it is actually pretty far. It's almost a mile upstream. So it is, you know, not, we're not talking the beach here. What does a seiche mean for people and wildlife? In general, not that much. Seiches tend to be pretty small and very short term. You might not even notice them if you're out there. But I could see for wildlife, like it's gonna affect stream flow at a short period of time. Maybe there's gonna be some sediment or some nutrients moving around that might not have happened. Uh, and certainly if you're a fish, you're probably gonna notice, but it's not really gonna wreck your day. For people, well, uh, again, it's a, a small change in water level, so, you know, maybe your boat is a little lower, maybe it's hanging from the dock, but you're probably not gonna see a lot of effects. Medio tsunamis, on the other hand, those are when big storm systems move through and the difference in atmospheric pressure is great. It can really uh, push water and move water around. Those could actually catch people and have caught people off guard and uh, led to deaths in the past. And I would say, you know, be aware of the weather. Uh, if you're around the lakes, you need to know what's happening around you and uh, be cautious. 